Hey guys, Steve with uh, Scotch and Things here. Just wanted to do a quick little video, maybe kind of a rant, I don't know. I uh, <coughs> went with my, took my brother-in-law to Cabela's um, Saturday, uh, two days ago. He wanted to get a, a red dot for his AR and <clears throat> he knew what he wanted to get and they had it you know, decent price. He didn't want to mess around with internet or anything like that. And I wanted to go to Cabela's anyway to pick up some other stuff. Um, I know it's Saturday. It was busy. It was like, you know, five o'clock at night when we went there. Um, I love Cabela's, but, uh, you know, have more. That, so it's five o'clock at night. I know the night's kind of winding down. That's still prime time. Their parking lot was packed. Um, but two guys working the gun counter. Uh, when you have to take a number and wait, I mean, finally, I, I didn't want to be a jerk, but we were waiting, you know, we'd grabbed our number and uh, they were on, they were helping number 11 and he'd gotten number 16. Finally, the guy, I was like, dude, I just, I just need that, uh, that spark, that vortex spark too, right behind you in the counter. Can I just get that or do I have to wait? And that, I mean, that was after 30, 40 minutes of waiting. And I finally just kind of like, Hey, look, it's right behind you. Can I just can I just have that? Um, and he said, yeah. He said, sorry about the wait. I said, no problem. I mean, but they should know. I, I understand their business, um, you know, and labor's expensive and, and they have to worry about costs and stuff like that. But, you know, one of your busiest areas where you have to, it's the, one of the only places in the store where, you know, you have to have someone there to help you um, look at the stuff behind the counter and only have two employees uh, seems kind of ridiculous. And it's been like that, you know, for a while now. Um, but that wasn't the big problem. The big problem that, crea that creates that weight and what's annoying is the guys that are taking numbers and wasting these guys' time at the counter and the people who actually want to buy stuff that are this just there... Um, to, I don't want to say just window shop, but you know, if you're looking for a gun, great. I mean, do it. But it's the guys that are, I don't want to say posers. Uh, the guy, one of the guys that was taking up time, and I, I swear to God, he looked like he was 18. He's not even, he didn't even look old enough to buy a gun. He might have barely been 21, but he, he really looked like he was in high school. And he's there with his girlfriend, and he's all decked out in his cowboy boots and his, his uh you know belt buckle and he he they looked literally like i swear to god like they were in high school so i don't even know what what their policy is on showing minors handguns if you want to look at them i can't remember i am and you know what when i was his age i probably would have done the same thing but it's the fact that they were taking up time uh, from people who really wanted to look at stuff and buy stuff just so he could kind of look at guns and show off to his girlfriend um i was standing behind him and it it got annoying because he didn't know anything about what he was looking at you know it was like they just just gone into gabella's to kill some time and you know he wanted to show off to his girlfriend and they were looking at guns and when you and everybody starts somewhere so i don't want to be that guy but it was so annoying that when you don't know how to um you know operate the weapon how you know how to sl lock back the slide how you can't get it to do anything you're the, the salesman hands it he locks it open and hands it to you and you don't know how to to you know get the slide to go forward or how to lock it back without the magazine in it um just is annoying and then the salesman good on his part said well you know i mean the kid is obviously he's struggling with this gun uh it was a 1911 on how to get it forward and how, just how to do and he didn't know what he and i know lots of people are like that with their first gun but nowadays with the internet you can go and watch and see how everything works so you think you would have time to so one you wouldn't make yourself look like an idiot but the salesman was like well you know what maybe we need to go um look at the look at revolvers for you you know they're a little bit easier to to operate and the kid starts kind of getting embarrassed and his girlfriend goes 
well, he's more of a, a gun guy, this kind of gun guy. And I thought, what the hell is she? I mean, they were just, they were just young, you know, and I, I don't want to be that guy, the bitch, but when people are there and you're wasting other people's time just so you can try and impress your girlfriend, um, so, you know, do educate, you know, and I'm not an expert on everything or anything, but I know enough to, if I'm going to go somewhere, I'm going to educate myself a little. It's like car shopping. You know, you're going to do research on the car before you go. So the dealer, you know, so the salesman's not blowing smoke up your ass. Um, just educate yourself a little bit before you go out. Uh, one, so you don't make a fool of yourself. And it's not that it's just you're wasting everybody's time you're wasting the poor guy behind the counter's time and you're wasting guys um who are actually wanting to buy something's time so all right that's it just a quick rant bye